Welcome, everybody. Today, I have a great pleasure to host Brian Malen. And Brian, if I can introduce you in my own words, and then you can correct me if I missed something. An sure. innovative professional educated master level. Of course, I'm reading from your LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, strong interpersonal skills and public speaking skills. And I also know, noticed that you are studied communication. I love communication. This is something... Um, that creates a great bridge. And why I'm using the word bridge? Because you're also founder of Bridge CSR Consultancy. By of experience gained from both voluntary and professional roles, including Ireland, Zambia, India, and US. And here I encourage everybody to look to your LinkedIn profile, go to the links where you share amazing experience from your voluntary work. And I was so impressed looking that I think that brings incredible amount of value. And, and then civil rights and social action with your volunteer work. Irish, Irish Red Cross. And then you work with children. Fantastic. I haven't seen such a great portfolio for, for a while in relation to voluntary work. It, did I miss something? No, well, I, I mean, I, I've, I've definitely have a, a number of years in in different work with different NGOs and things like that. But we, we could be here till next Tuesday, I suppose, chatting about that to some degree. There's bits and pieces, so uh, but that's a very good summary, definitely. So I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Uh, Thank you. And you're absolutely right. It's 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 like reading a story, reading your profile. So I encourage everybody to to, to look there. And Brian, you're also a professional and you work for recruiters and you're a professional recruiter. And that's why I think you have so much great, valuable things to, to share with others, share with people that might find it useful and although find you easier if they're looking for some professional roles. They can consult with you and you can refer to top best companies in Ireland, if, if I'm not mistaken. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I I, I personally hire for uh, the likes of PayPal, Diageo, Facebook, um, which is now Meta. Um, LinkedIn particularly is a big big uh, client of ours as well. So there's a range, uh, and that's primarily contract. But I also I also hire for permanent as well. So it's a good range. Fantastic. There. Fantastic. So let's dive in. And the first question I prepared for you is is very much related to your current role. Why ideally job seekers, what ideally job seekers should prepare and know before actually approaching recruiter so they don't waste your time and it's easier for you to place them in and secure the role? Sure, sure. So the way that I go about answering this question would be looking at the perspective of the general perspective of people and their, their understanding of recruiters. So recruiters sit in an interesting space. The business model behind recruitment is, is quite interesting. So Recruiters are paid by the client, okay? So let's say we're dealing with LinkedIn in this case. They're paid by LinkedIn in order to get really, really good talent, okay? Mm -hmm. So most people won't pay a recruiter in order to get them into a role. So it creates an interesting dynamic because usually when we have people who work for us, we're usually paying uh, we're usually paying in euros or, or dollars, whatever it might be. Um, if you're going towards a recruiter, there's a couple of things that are really, really key, okay? So what I see a lot of is a lot of people applying to roles um, where they have no experience or they feel they have like a lot of overlapping experience and they're primarily wasting their time because the fundamentals is that um, people need to understand when somebody's being hired in a company, the biggest, the worst thing that can happen is that um, there are big risks to the company, okay? So when you're coming to a recruiter, um, if you want to really increase your chances and make sure the recruiter is going to give you everything that they want to give to you, you need to make sure that you have, um, first of all, a good experience background, okay, in your desired role. So, for example, what does that mean? Basically, if you go to a recruiter and you want to get into accountancy, but you're working in marketing, there's not a huge amount that a recruiter can do for you, right? And the likelihood is that what's going to happen is going to say, look, at, I'll keep you in file. If any entry-level roles pop up in accountancy, um, I'll get back in touch with you, okay? But even at that, it, it's, a, it's a difficult sell. If I was if I was going to approach a different recruiter looking for a role, what I would do is I would look up at my background experience, okay? I'd look at my salary that I'm currently on. I'd have this information to hand and I'd have it really clear and concise in terms of where I'm at and where I want to go. Because what happens then is you're making the life really easy for the recruiter. Um, I heard a great comment or a great quote a while back. Um, I can't remember who it's from, but it talks about the fact that the more specific your ask, 
and the less obstacles there are in your ask, the easier it is for you to to receive what is at the end of that, what is the result. So if you can go to a recruiter and you can say very specifically, look, at, this is my experience in terms of years, okay? Um, I'm currently an account manager, okay? And my next step, what I'd love to get into is I'd love to get into uh, management, okay? That's really clear, really simple. Um, when you have that information prepared, you're, you're fully loaded and you're good to go. Um, and it sounds really simple, but the amount of people that we do get who come in and they kind of go, well, I'm not really sure what I, where I want to go or what I want to do, which is perfectly fine. But if you're looking to extract the most amount, have a good understanding of where you're at and where you want to go and be prepared to give that information concisely to the recruiter. And the second part that I'd say to that, um, to answer that, fully, answer that question concisely is make sure that you've got a recruiter who um, is experienced and has, I suppose, is an intelligent recruiter. You know, the, the, look, the same as any profession, you can get good ones, you can get bad ones. So someone you connect with personally is important and someone who's good at their job. Perfect. You touched something important here, where I am and where I want to go. It's very important for everybody. And most of my clients happens that they still in the discovery process. I've noticed that after COVID, lots of people decided to change their careers. Some are sure where they want to go, but some, as you said, are still looking. And of course, there is a process and I work with them to clarify that. And we try to make sure we prepare them as much as possible, not only to approach companies directly, but also to work with recruiters. And that, that's very well noticed. Now, there's another thing I want to ask you through that the same kind of topic. Feel free to join our LinkedIn group. Hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you.